my favorite time of year in North Carolina is the fall. And I think it's primarily because of the beautiful fall color that all the deciduous trees and shrubs show. Now I know many of you might be wondering, why is it that these trees develop such interesting colors in the fall? And why is it that some years are more brilliant than others? Well, there's some really basic botany that explains these beautiful fall colors that we see. And there's some simple things we can do in our own garden to enhance these colors when we're growing these plants in our garden. Now the first idea to think about here with the fall color is that the fall color is stimulated by decreasing day length and decreasing temperatures. As the days get shorter and the temperatures get cooler, it stimulates some changes in the leaves of the plants. Now water and nutrition is flowing up through the plant into the leaves, and the nutrition is used to produce a number of different things, and specifically chlorophyll, which is the green pigment for photosynthesis. What happens right where the leaf attaches to the stem is a, an area of cells that get clogged up with different types of materials that slow the movement of water nutrition into the leaf. Now as a result, the chlorophyll production goes down. Now chlorophyll is a very dynamic pigment in a leaf and that means that it doesn't stick around for very long. So the chlorophyll that is in there begins to fade. Well chlorophyll production is now down and chlorophyll is still fading and as a result the leaf fades. Now many of you may not realize this, but most deciduous trees have other pigments in the leaf all during the growing season. Specifically yellow called xanthophylls and oranges called carotenoids. Well the xanthophylls and the carotenoids are there all the time. So as the chlorophyll begins to fade, Voila, what do we see? We see the orange and we see the yellow pigments. And so that's how we get the fall color. Now I know many of you are thinking, well, what about some years that it's kind of dull and other years much more brilliant? Where do the reds come from? Well, the reds and the purples actually are a separate pigment that is produced in the fall. And that pigment's called anthocyanin. Now the anthocyanin pigments contribute to the bright reds. Something like you see here in this dogwood, this is a Chinese dogwood, you can see the red pigmentation showing up in different places. Well anthocyanin production, or that red pigment production, is stimulated by a couple of things. One, sugars that are produced in the leaf generally exit the leaf through that petiole down into the stem. Well, if that abscission layer is starting to form, then sugars are going to get backed up, just like the water and nutrition is getting backed up in the opposite direction, and the sugar pool will grow larger in the leaf. Well, that's one of the two things necessary for red pigment production, is a large amount of sugar, because anthocyanin is a sugar-based pigment. The other thing is cold night temperatures. When the night temperatures get down below 45 degrees, and preferably even below 40 degrees, that stimulates the conversion of the sugars into these red pigments. So it's really fascinating. You could see the fall color coming with orange and yellow, and then have a couple of really cold nights, and all of a sudden see red showing up everywhere. Well, that's the red pigmentation forming from the sugar pools that are in the leaf. It's that simple. So those years and those falls where we have warm sunny days and really cool crisp nights, we get the best looking fall color with lots of red pigmentation. Now it's very subtle and it's easy for that red pigmentation to be subdued. Take a look over here. You can see just by virtue of the fact that these two leaves are on top of two other leaves that they're providing insulation at night. And so when the temperature gets cool at night and we get that radiational heat loss, those leaves serve as a blanket or insulation to the other leaves. Now as I lift that leaf up, Look at that, you can actually see red pigmentation where the leaf wasn't covered, but the part of the leaf that was covered by the other leaf is yellow. That's a really cool thing to see and just shows you how different and how unusual you can have fall color coming. So for the home gardener, what do we do? First thing, we need to choose plants that have the ability to produce the red fall color. Japanese maples and dogwoods are two examples of species of trees that really have that capacity to produce the red fall color. Hickories, on the other hand, just produce yellow. They don't have the ability to produce red no matter what the climate. The second thing we can do is locate these plants in places where at night it tends to cool off more than other places. For instance, a low-lying area where cold air sinks is going to show better fall color for a Japanese maple than along a slope or at the top of a hill. So folks, these are just some little tools that you can use with deciduous trees and shrubs to enhance that wonderful fall color and really make for a beautiful home landscape.